Yes, you heard it right. I had to call 911. At my uh, new campsite here, the first day I got here, I was uh, setting up and everything. I looked out on this vast lake here. I'll show you around here. And somewhere out in the middle, right about right over there, I saw something bright orange. I didn't think anything of it. But it turns out it was a man and his dog on one of those blow-up mattresses you use in a pool. And there was actually two dogs there. I didn't see the second dog because the second dog was swimming, I guess. It was a ways out there, but I didn't know. I had no idea. I thought they were kayaks. So I went to setting up and everything. And when I when I was setting up, I was inside the rig and I was getting ready to cook something. And I heard some shouting. And do you see right now, down where this boat is, he was out probably another hundred yards towards the middle from there. And the wind was blowing pretty good. Well, he was definitely in distress. And I got the binoculars out and then realized he was on that air mattress. And that's when I started getting really worried because the water temperature here is 55 degrees right now. So it's not really swimming weather. So I, uh, I called 911 and within 10 minutes, uh, a US parks ranger was here and he drove by me right real quickly so I didn't get a chance to stop him. He went down the boat ramp, then he came back up from the boat ramp. I flagged him down and pointed to show him, but this time the guy had gotten to the shore, to the rocks down there. Right, uh, I'll insert a picture of the raft, but uh, I don't think it, you can see it today. Well, maybe just barely down there, inland from that boat there. He was down there. And so I flagged him down, said he was right down there. So they had a boat responding too. So a Zodiac boat came up. He met the Zodiac boat down at the boat ramp and they come up there. Well, by the time they got there, he'd start climbing up the hill with his dogs, well, at least one of the dogs. And, uh, they uh, told him to come down the hill, come to the boat. Then I saw the boat run up, the Zodiac I'm gonna put in the, in the split screen here. Zodiac ran up on shore, the two other rangers came up on the shore and then I didn't see nothing. I'm just kind of looking around and went back and walked over there again and I saw that the boat was trying to pick up a, the dog, a dog that was in the water. And I turned around and the guy was behind me. And the only thing he had on was his underwear. And I'm like, no shoes, nothing, no shirt, pants, nothing. So I got him a blanket real quick. He was asking for water. I gave him some water. I gave his dog some water and his dog some treats. I said, well, the Rangers need to know you're up here. Well, he says, tell him I I'm, I'm at the boat ramp. And he walked off. Well, he walked off in this direction, over here. There is no boat ramp over this way. So, this guy had been in the water an hour and a half, climbed up this hill barefoot, almost naked, and he just took off walking like he had all kinds of energy. I don't know why. I don't know if he's becoming hypothermic if you know what was going on but he was definitely in the water for at least an hour and a half that we know of me and uh, a neighbor that was camping next to me here because he'd seen him out there too and he'd been here about an hour and a half and 
he saw him out in the middle there too. Well, the two rangers climb this hill here. You can see. By the time they got up here, they were pretty winded. They had to stop and catch their breath. I pointed him out which way he went. They went after him. Well, then all of a sudden, they're following him. And if you look out right over there, the cliffs with the red there, he's out there climbing down those. I don't know what was going on, <laughs> but uh, kind of a crazy situation. I thought it was all said and done, then three sheriffs pull up. Then two rangers, two more rangers. So total of three ranger vehicles, three sheriff's vehicles, and I think there was one of them unmarked as well. Well, then they pulled out and I figured it was all said and done. Maybe they got him some help, you know, took him to wherever he came from or whatever. Uh, then last night I was fixing my dinner or the other night I was fixing my dinner and uh, a car pulled up in front of me and curious, I look out and I just saw a car there, no big deal. I hear someone hollering, I go out there. It was the same guy, I came back hollering for a dog. <laughs> I don't explain to know what's going on there, but you can make assumptions, you can make guesses, and we're all probably wrong, but it was just a weird situation, and the guy in no way was threatening at all, so. But at least he's safe. I was worried that he was gonna die out there from hypothermia with that cold of water. But uh, anyway, just wanted to share that with you. Remember to like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.